Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and today I want to take a break from lighting. Huh? No really, we're going to talk this month and today about video. So unless you sleep under a rock, which is a really odd saying if you think about it, uh, over the past number of years, you've seen video and lighting really come together as one. And we talk about that here from various times. And this month, I want to dive into a couple topics when lighting isn't just lighting anymore. Okay. Uh, and, and the reason we want to talk about this is because ultimately, we cannot ignore the fact that lighting and video are essentially merging together as we move forward into time. And if you think about it, they're really the same thing. I mean, they're different, right? But, you know, go back, like when I first started in this business and, you know, back 10, 20, whatever, however many years, right? Um, if you go back in time, you see, okay, there's lighting. There's lighting fixtures. There's PARs and Alicos, and they're turned on by dimmers, and we control them from a lighting console, okay? And then there was video. There were slide projectors and things like that, and the technologies rarely merged together. However, even in these earlier times, you can't ignore the fact that when we're talking about shooting light out of a lighting fixture, or whether we're talking about shooting light out of a video device, either way, we're working with visuals, we're working with light. And so we've got to work together. And so that's what this month is all about, is going, okay, what are the basic things we need to know about running video within lighting, triggering these things together. Uh, can we control it all in, in one place? Do we need multiple places? And so on and so forth, okay? So in this first video, I wanna talk about some different ways physically that we can integrate video into our lighting systems, okay? The very first is pixel mapping. Now, I'll talk more about this in a different video here, um, but pixel mapping is the idea where we take lighting fixtures because so many of these lights that we have, right? Like the lights that are around me here, these LED lights that we have, they can change intensity just like the old lights and they can also change color, okay? And most lights these days can change color. Anything that's a LED wash type light has color mixing. And this gives us the ability to pixel map them if we have the right console or software in place. And all that pixel mapping means is just, if you're not familiar, it's just placing the lights basically in a screen type format, telling the console where the lights are. And then we can play video and effects on top of those lights and, and get it done, okay? Uh, we'll talk more about that later this, this month or in this playlist if you're catching this later. So that's one way to use video and lighting. But again, if you haven't been sleeping under a rock, you'll see in stage shows, we'll often have video screens, right? Like I've got these cool geometric panels behind me. People ask about them all the time. They're uh, typically linked in the description and they're cool, but more often than not in a live show these days, we're going to see video panels replacing these, right? I even showed in this video how to make some DIY LED video panels, but whether we're running video panels or we've got projection, maybe we've got actual video displays on stage, like TVs, right? All of these things are, are ways that we can begin to integrate video into our lighting, whether it be on the stage itself or environmental, right? Like uh, maybe you've heard of the term environmental projection, which is where we're taking video and we're filling the room with that video, the areas around the stage, okay? And so these are just some of the ways that we can use video and visuals in our lighting. And as we go through this month, what I wanna do is one, inspire you, just get you to think about, okay, you know, are there places in my event, whatever type of event you like, whether it's a show, a service, um, a, no matter what it is, a theater, an exhibit, a haunted house, no matter what type of event you run, uh, is there a place and does it make sense to start to use some elements of video in your, your event? 
Would that help enhance the event? Would it make it better? Okay. And so that's really a question that only you can answer. But when it comes down to it, uh, it's never been easier to integrate video into our shows. And so the first question that I've got for you, really the homework from today's video, is to go out there, look at different shows, look at pictures of shows on uh, Facebook or image searches or, or what have you, and look at times where you see video integrated or separate from lighting. Sometimes it's not so easy to tell. And look at these elements and think to yourself, okay, is this something that I would benefit from in the type of shows that I do? Or not so much? Uh, because ultimately, you want to answer that question first. I, I'm, as with anything here on Learn Stage Lighting, I'm the biggest fan, and you all probably know this already, of not just doing something because it's cool or trendy or we think someone said it would be a good idea. You know, I, I want you, before you embark on adding video to your event, think about, okay, what is this going to do uh, perspective-wise? How is this going to affect, you know, the complication, the technical details, um, and the outcome? And when we balance those two and we seesaw those things together, does the extra complication of adding video elements to our show uh, make it more difficult to use? Does it make it easier to use and set up? Okay, and then we want to balance that with, uh, uh, you know, the extra outcome. Because as I like to say here often, and I talk to people so often within Learn Stage Lighting Labs, you don't want to become a slick, cool programmer just so you can show off on YouTube. And I know not everyone on YouTube does that, but you know, there's a lot of people showing consoles and show files and showing off online. And at the end of the day, if there's someone watching your show and they're not looking at the console, because guess what? If they're watching your event, your show, your service, what have you, they're not watching the console, they're watching the outcome on the stage. And when someone's watching that, does it make an impact that was worth the effort? One example here that I like to throw out is again, that pixel mapping example. We'll talk more about the how-tos of this uh, later this month. And we've also got more in-depth videos inside We're in Stage Lighting Labs, but pixel mapping. So say you have a bunch of fixtures, a bunch of lights on your stage. Maybe they're regular LED PARs and strip lights. Maybe they're pixel type fixtures uh, that are like a pixel tape or a, a pre-built pixel bar fixture, okay? You've got these fixtures all around your stage, behind you, you know, above the audience, etc. okay? By integrating a lot of pixels, you could go into your console, whatever it may be, um, and, you know, set up basic chases and use your console's effects editor to build different effects that go across these lights, okay? You're going to spend a lot of time doing that, and you're only going to get so many different looks out of that. Whereas, if you put all of these lights in a pixel map and, and use a solution that allows you to pixel map your lights, then you're going to get that much more bandwidth. You're going to get that much more stuff that you can work with, that much more uh, ability. And often, pixel mapping, when you've got a certain number of lights and, and some pixel stuff and whatnot, uh, it actually takes you less time to get the job done than it does to not pixel map. So, have I caught your ear? Awesome. Be sure to subscribe here, and if you're brand new to lighting, you've never done anything with lighting before, but you're just interested, head over to learnstagelighting.com, grab my free guide to begin with lighting, and also check out below if you're looking to buy gear, we can get you some great prices through Learn Stage Lighting gear. With that, guys, I'm going to wrap. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.